Southeast Asia's first brain bank has been launched in Singapore. It will store tissue from deceased donors to develop a better treatment for brain disorders like Parkinson's disease and depression, which could become more common as the population ages. Let's go with this report. This is the midbrain, which is involved in Parkinson's disease. The brain bank will be a research repository for brain and spinal cord tissue from donors. Set up by Nanyang Technological University, National Healthcare Group, and National Neuroscience Institute, it hopes to recruit 1,000 potential donors in the next four years. Already, three individuals have signed up. One is 41-year-old Lovely Fernandez. My parents told me, why you have to donate your brain? Why not just the heart or maybe the liver or other organs? But I told them, brain is more uh, complex and then a lot of medicines can be um, discovered when I donate my brain. Lovely suffers from multiple sclerosis, a disease of the brain and spinal cord. It renders the left side of her body numb and gives rise to symptoms like fatigue and forgetfulness. The disease has no known cure now, but Lovely hopes this will change. It's not for us, for this generation, but for the next generation. At least I can be of help. The program will provide vital brain tissue to research groups in Singapore and even further. Those behind the brain bank say Singapore is a suitable launch pad due to its ethnic diversity. There are no brain banks at all in this part of the world. And we now know that our genetic makeup controls the way our body reacts to injury, to damage, to infection. And if we got tissue from, say, Europe or America, it would have the wrong genetic background for studies in this part of the world. It's hoped that the brain bank will open up new research possibilities and generate new knowledge about brain disorders like Parkinson's disease, stroke, depression and dementia in the Asian population. The brain is an inaccessible organ, so with this resource uh, we now uh, finally have a chance to take a deeper dive to understand the mechanism underlying neurodegenerative condition. And all this could help researchers build a future without devastating brain conditions.